Hello there everyone, welcome! I am Bogmod and today we are playing Endless Legend. It is still the month that things are spooky in. And as you can see, there's some sort of weird sea thing going on. And I thought, you know what? I think that's the perfect strategy game to be playing right now. Because there's a faction called the Morgar. Which are very uh, deep one slash Lovecrafty and Eldritch Abomination monstrous thing inspired. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try it on hard. I have beaten the game on hard. But it is a challenge, a serious challenge for me. I will not deny it. I may lose. I may get my butt kicked. But I have, I have developed some cunning strategies. As you can see though, um, a lot, of, a lot of evil stuff going on here, because, like I said, very, very deep one, Lovecraftian horrors, trapped in the in the ocean depths, finally rising up, destroy all those monsters that live on man or land, like man. <laughs> so they they play a little differently than the other factions. Well. Unlike, uh, say, Civilization or some other strategy games. Ooh. Luckily for Riga, they sleep. We didn't understand them. Didn't even know where they came from. We couldn't control them. So in desperation, we contained them. But look at that body. What if they break free? With their power, hatred, and paranoia. It also, shoulder eyeball. Ariga will weep. As she has never wept before. That's always a, a worrying they sign near Cruz. To fill the salt seas. But yeah, unlike, um, say, Master of Ryan or, or Civilization, the. The factions all play very differently in this one. So what do we got? Ooh, actually, this is a very interesting start. There's mineral rich. There's a, a hidden springs. Wizard pearls. Oh, there's some great build options around here. Thirteen, fourteen. I'm not, you know what? I'm actually going to take this starting position. I can see I have, I can even see that I've got titanium in this starting zone. So yeah, let's take that to start. Yeah, that's actually quite a good starting position. So yeah, so we are. Right, see, we are Margua. We're so we're Neptunian. So we, we move around on the sea better. We have uh, the power to apparently take control of armies of fleets. We get bonus production and science from from lake or sea tiles. Or even just the river. We get the sea trader technology. So we, so we don't we don't make land roads, right? We'll make uh, sea roads. Seeds of descent. We can make pacified villages hostile again, making trouble for our for others. We can apparently inflict a black spot spot curse on our enemies. This is our special tech. We got the Leviathan. It's a big sea monster. The mastermind. I mean, look at that guy. That was a creepy looking dude. Another sea unit. So we got yeah. So this kind of thing. Our main units are gonna have to be. Um, our main quest. Yeah, here we are. Morgwar, a work in a lab without a sense of past. An entity that is a single mind of many bodies. Morgar has a powerful capacity to dominate and control the minds of others in order to achieve their ultimate intent. But there are many questions that it would like to answer. Who are I? Where do I come from? Where are all these strange, one-minded beings who get in our way? 
Why are I driven to do what I do? And how will I know that I have succeeded? Let me start with some tech. Can we see? Yeah. Yeah. So there we are. So first things first. Gotta, gotta explore a little. Well, some titanium, neat. Ooh, we've got dye in our in our territory. So that is a that is a luxury resource. And they're apparently oh, horses. Big old lumbering giant ogre guys. So these are the minor villages. So eventually I'm gonna try and make my friends with them. But I also need to expand, because I do need to find other territory. That I can expand into. Oh, and research, of course. Can't forget research. So it's kind of a, a wheel, all right. And the way this works is that each time you research something else, it takes you more research to get get the next thing. So you don't want to just take everything you possibly can. You want to target your options a little bit more. I like to start with the mill foundry for more production, the public library for more research. And then the language square to start off the the early option of being able to um, interact with the uh, the various minor groups. Because one of the things, if you pacify a minor village, they count as an extra population unit that you can use in your cities, which is very handy. Ah, our quest. So you see each faction has their own storyline, which is a lot of, a lot of fun. Morgoth awakens darkness. Moves heads, limbs, presses out, grabs, crushes, twists. Breaks weakened bars, shatters cracked glass. Morgar moves. Freedom, after uncountable years, flees the structures, the caves, into the water, dark water. Too cold, too dark, hides too many enemies, too many memories. Freedom! Morgar moves in the darkness, finds others so few. Rises, seeks the light, seeks air, land, fire, the forge, walls, weapons. The strange images. Memories? Morgard remembers the time in prison. Asleep but aware. The horror of immobility. Impotence. Imprisonment. Must breathe the air. Use fire. Build and conquer. Spread across the world. Never to be imprisoned again. Never to let a power survive that could imprison. Never to be the weaker. Morgard grows. Exploit at least one sea tile. And research the Vore unit tech is our quest goal. So, all the squares around your city are counting are as exploited tiles. Right? And then as you as you can you can expand your city later on, which expands how much you're exploiting. So that's how that works. So we've already completed part of the quest. We do need to research the Vor technology. Got some interesting terrain over here. Enchanted forest, usually good for production. We've got some wetlands, an exotic, or exotic exotics, weird, weird, weird plants. Um, over here, these glittering, shining things, they're ruins that I want to uh, plunder for possible uh, loot. This means I've got a new population unit, which I'm going to put towards doing some uh, building. Yeah. Got that research done, and then, uh, you know, it's, it's got your basic queue. So I'm going to take the mill foundry next. And this is what I was talking about, right? So this this will decrease the happiness as I expand. Um, but it will increase... Well, I'll show you, see? Five, three, six, 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 six. So as you can see, I can, I can expand my territory. Three six six six. I think that's a good spot. And search that. Yeah, see ten gold. And I have easy access to the sea, so let's go do a bit of more exploring of the ocean. <laughs> Nothing. Ah, that's a shame. 
Oops, I missed that. It's always good to pay attention over here whenever you finish a thing. This means that my guy has leveled up. And one of the skills... I see they have skills for your, your heroes. I'm going to take the Indiana Bone skill, which makes it more likely... Oh, no, 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 no. Go back up there. Which makes it more likely he'll find loot. So what else do we have? We've got a Mutant Marsh. There are Moss Pearls. Okay. Uh, chromatic Fields. A couple of Jotus. Hmm. Not ideal. I would have preferred that it had some glass steel. Because there's two main resource types. Or, um, there's titanium. Which is the, one of them. And then there's glass steel. And, you know, having access to both is useful. Very useful. Yeah, public library's done. The borough streets complete. And population grew. Let's keep that production going, buddies. Guys. Pretty dust. Oh, there it is. See? That's what I'm looking for. Glass steel. Um, but I'd prefer if there's an adjacent province that has it. If at all possible. So maybe I'll go over this way. See what I can find. New manor faction. The Seratan. Spider people with boobs. Because, you know. While this is, you know... A world with weird, strange, crazy things. It is a fantasy game. Which means that, you know, you gotta have the boobs. Oh, my starting zone is much bigger than I initially anticipated. Alright. Actually, next turn I get the language square. So I'm gonna actually hold off a moment. Um, so that I can start to parlay with them next turn try and get them on my side. No! I told you not to move there. You fool! Ah. Mm. There we are. See? Language square done. So I gotta do some new research now. So, considering my options. Take the mint for more money. Sewer system. For more city happiness. Uh, approval is very important to have. Then I'm going to grab the furnace and the open pit mine. Uh, bonus food. The vor unit and the mercenary market. Yes, I think that's a good, good swath to start with. So let's go back over here. Parlay. Let's see, find the monsters the tribe has identified uh, their lair in the temple ruins. So, there it is, down there. I'm going to go over there. Alright, I, th I should be able to handle this. Um, let's take a check out on you for a moment. Mm hmm. I'll give that trait to you, actually. So that's kind of the thing. You can upgrade your units as you get new new technologies. You have to actually have to design them, so it's a, a little more self-controlled. See, I'm, I'm working all of these sea tiles now, since I expanded my city a little bit to the west. All right, let's see. Let's build. Let's see. Yeah, so this would give me... You know, this gives me plus 12 money, so let's take that. We'll grab a couple more masterminds, because that'll be useful to have. And then we're going to grab that settler, because we do need one of those... Because you always have to expand your empire. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, search it. It'll probably be something you have to fight. Yep. There's monsters. Demons. Um. Alright, well, let's auto fight it. I think I can win it. It's, well, it'll be tight. Uh, okay. Let's. Maybe it'll be a little little harder than I thought. Plus 50% science on cities for that moon leaf. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take that early game boost. Come on, you guys can win it. I believe in you. Nope, I didn't win it. So now my guy is sent back over here. Um, he, he's going to take a few turns to heal up. Which is okay. I can work with this. I'm just going to spend a few turns rebuilding my army. And then we'll, we'll take this fight to him again. Now there is a controlled thing. I, I find it does... It's, later on in the game, especially if you have ranged guys, it plays out a lot better. Hey guys, they're, they're coming over to visit. And I can go over here. So he's disabled for 18 turns, which is kind of terrible. Oh, but I could restore him by spending the money. Which I'm going to do. So now the evil guys are, um, are sieging me. Well, not, not evil, but... Um, let's assign him to... Why can't I assign you to there? Right, let's wait a couple turns before we attack. Ah, the city's under siege, so I can't assign my hero. That's fine. One more turn to get three of them. And then we will counterattack, freeing the city. There we are. There we go. Congratulations, the tribes are pacified. The Ursus tribe is now an ally. And now I can also... I'm going to wait till, get, till I get all four of them out. So this is one of the other features in this game. All right, is the uh, Empire Plan development. So I get to expand a few things. I'm going to take the mm, science and the money. Yeah, that's a good start. All right. Luxury boost facility. So these facilities have opened up a bit. We'll we'll talk about them later. All right, there we are. Now then, we're going to go back to our exploration and try and find some, some new territory, a place to expand into. And this over here is looking fairly decent. I see some, some more dye, a life tree, that's useful. Lots of rivers, rivers on enchanted forests. So actually, that is a, looking like a very tempting location. We've got the Hurnas. Oops. Let's see, someone activated four luxury boosters before I did and got a reward of many, many fancy emeralds. I found the boss, which are good for more food. No sign of grass silk, though, which is a little bothersome. I would prefer not to have to go all the way over there to get it. Orcs slain, which gets me some experience. Got some wine. Aha, perfect. Grass steel, just what I was hoping to get my hands on. It's coming along quite excellently. And he's level three. Let's make it so that you are, have a much better chance of always getting me treasure. All right, well, this is going well. 
I've got a settler, so I'll try and expand right here. Build the sewer system to make my people happier. And the Empire Mint for the more monies. And then let's get the titanium being built. Yeah. You have to build extractors. Yeah. And on this note, we're going to take a little break. So uh, this is a decent start. Uh, we have access to immediate resources. No neighbor too close. Oh, well, there's, the, there's the border of one of our neighbors. But still, we have some expansion opportunities without getting right up in their grill quite yet. So that's good. Gives us a chance to build up. Well, thank you all for watching, and I will come back soon for more. You know, uh, what your thoughts are and how how I'm how things are going. Talk to you in a bit.